Hello everyone, Excedra here bringing you episode 26 of Mystical Block, a mod pack by Monaco is cool. So, this is a village and it did spawn a iron golem. But I still haven't had pillagers, which is eh, taking forever. But I did do a little bit more research and on the uh, Discord, someone said, why don't you just transform a pillagers like our uh, chosen architect did? So went to check and found some episodes where he was doing draconic and I scanned left and right and I found the solution from him. And basically it's this. We have a philosopher stone. As you know, the philosopher stone lets us click I need to find a real block. It doesn't work with every block. Oh, okay. So it works. It doesn't work with brick. It doesn't work. It works with dirt. So if you right click, becomes sand. Right click, becomes grass. Sand, grass, sand, grass. Okay? But you can't click a mob. Well, you kind of can. The thing is, what we're going to do is we're going to go into option controls, category project E. And there is something called fire projectile, which is the R button for us right now. So if I go and press R, it fires a projectile, but you need to have EMC on you. So this is a pillager. And if I press R, it's now a killer bunny. R, it's a phantom. R, it's a zombie something, piglin. Zombie, husk, with their skeleton, drowned, enderman, blaze, and it's kind of random. Oh, spider. And evoker. That's exactly what we want. So we're grabbing you because, and by the way, we can also transform those. Those are a bit harder to hit. But you can hit them and get them. And you can get all sorts of mobs. Now I'm just kind of wasting time. But let's just kill those. Perfect. They're all gone. So now, now that we have that, we can make as many evoker as we want. So we can grab this and press F. And we can grab a model. And we can grab a mob the mob duplicator stuff. So put that right here. And let's just connect it. And put this in and put the evoker. And grab some buckets of um, essence. Just one second. Wireless fluid grid. And so we can go boop, 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 boop. Grab a couple. Do this. And what we're going to do is we got the model and kill. And kill. And that's already a totem of undying. And kill. Another totem of undying. And these things don't seem to do any damage to me. So I'm not going to care all that much. What I care is about these. And another totem of totem of undying. Reload. Oh, am I doing this right, though? I should probably put that in there. See, yeah, none of the kill have counted, which is annoying. Not that I'm going to need it, but I figured since I'm doing this complicated, figuring out this mob and killing it and whatnot, I might as well like, get the benefit for the future. Does it count as kill? Yeah, I now have 8 of 48 kill. So at least, if I ever need more Totem of Undying, I can just turn these things on and have it go. Oh, well, that works better than I thought it would. 
Yeah, okay, that did work. Uh, that's the last essence bucket that we have, so let's just finish that and grab whatever it gives us. Yeah, that's a better strategy, standing right here and waiting for them to pop up. And voila, we're done. So now I can send all of these things into my uh, my system. Still have some of you to kill, I guess. Where are you? Here you go. Okay. All of these things are dead and we can do this and this to set back the environment and we don't need to stay here. We can go home. Oh no. Home is not here. So first off, oh, I need to remove the other thing. Then we can say home is home and now go home. And now we should be able to craft the undying Right, right, this one right here. These cores. Let's do 20 of those. Yeah, no, those are not crafted this way. And now let's do 64 of those because I want to be able to do my crafting. So this and this, no. Uh, what is it? What is it? What is it? Uh, I need a Wyvern Shield Capacity Module. So let's come back right here on Dying. And we can go right here and say, let's make one of you. And then I should be able to make you. And I should be able to now make you. Ha <laughs> ha. Voila. And what we're going to do is we're just going to get back the armor draconic armor right here i'm gonna press i think i said slash on it what was it yeah and then we're going to put the undying so now we have zero percent and in 60 second i think that's how it work in 60 second we'll have a safe uh, a death saver kind of thing so let's put this away this away this away uh no i can keep my wireless crafting grid but i'm going to need a couple more arrows because i don't have infinity on my bow i should probably work toward that um what do i want to do let me just think about this i want to go kill the chaos dragon but right now yeah so we're going to go to the Chaotic Dragon fight right here. And if you look at my little, uh, what's it called? My little, uh, the minimap, you can see in the minimap that I'm at 9,875. And if I continue this way, I'm getting closer to the Chaos Dragon. So. I'm going to do something first. I'm going to come right here. Options, music and sound. And I'm going to work that volume down to 10% because now I'm going to go and fly to activate the chaos dragon. And he's going to spawn and it's going to be noisy. It's one of those, just like the Gaia fight, whatever they do, these uh, mod pack, they always put those things super noisy so super important let's completely go toward this asap this dragon has a weird annoying habit where it stops you from flying okay so it's really hard to go from one to the other and what you usually want to do is set yourself up a little place behind so that when he does his magic thingy that uh to bring you down uh, on the floor you're not going to fall and look can't destroy it so what you have to do in the first phase of this fight is you just gotta be there and wait for him to decide to attack you and when he attacks you he's going to fire some balls and it's going to affect this tower and once it's down ish you can start hitting it and whatever you try to do see 
ping, 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 doesn't work. You can't damage it. You really need to wait for him to do his attack thing. Oh! Do you hear? Well, he's trying... He's trying to attract us to the ground. And voila! One has been destroyed. And we still can fly. Because he's doing a special attack. We're just going to wait for a special attack to finish. And quickly fly to the next one. Make a little space to go in. And just wait for him to do a special attack again. Like this. And a second one destroy. Let's quickly fly to the next one. And basically, like I... No, 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 no. Shit. So he's doing the anti-fly thing, which is why I can't really... Ugh. So now I'm kind of screwed. I have to wait for him to finish his attack. No! He's so annoying. Come on. I'm good. And I got another one. That's the third one. So that's 11 left. And this is just waiting. Oh, I was taking damage there. You saw my shield went down to zero. And he's done. Quickly go to the next one. And you know what? At this point, I'm going to stop talking. I'm going to play a little time lapse till the next step of attack. Okay? Because that's going to take a little while. And it's just basically rinse and repeat and there's nothing you can do. Okay? So guys, I'll be back in a moment.
and we are back so we've destroyed almost every single one and i said i would come back at the next phase of the fight but i kind of forgot to explain one part to this fight oh okay so that part of the fight is done at some point you saw wither guardians attacking me that's why i was hiding on the ground and with wither guardians the best way to deal with them is you arrow them from afar and as you arrow them from afar they will start hitting you uh, they will come to you and then you finish them with the draconic staff of power at this point now all we need to do is kill the chaos dragon which is easier said than done because right now he's invincible but at some point he's gonna turn blue and when he turns blue he's no longer invincible and you've got to hit him with as many arrows as possible like now oh no still still No, so he's still invulnerable. It's when he does the laser thing, I believe. At this point, we just have to keep on trying to stay with him and hit him with as many as a row as possible. And at some point, he'll be able to take damage. Trust me. Where did he go? So all of the towers are dead. As you can see, like at the top middle, the counter's gone. I just don't know why he's not taking damage right now. Last time I did this, when he turned blue or when he was ready, he would take damage. Oh, now he's going to take damage. Or not. Well... You're being annoying. Why are you not taking damage? I'm getting confused. I've got all of the protection device. So technically he should start taking some real damage. I am not getting this chaos dragon. Basically, what I did, if you want to know, is I found the last series that I killed one, and I just followed my own instruction from this time. But right now, nothing is giving him damage. Is this? Is there something underground? Okay, so this is the chaos thing that we want to get like this is the shard that we want to get but right now this is this cannot be farmed because we haven't killed the dragon yet but i'm supposed to be able to damage the dragon right now and he's not playing by the rules because all of these are gone i'm just going to go around once more just to make sure that they're all gone Oh, he still has some Wither Gardens. Maybe it's because I haven't finished that phase of the fight. So, like I was saying, these you hit with arrows. And when they come to you, you just hit them with a pickaxe. More arrows. More pickaxing. More arrows and pickaxing.
Well, these are all dead. So if we continue going around, let's just check. And I hate that I'm not flying like... Arr. Nope, there's still one right there. Come on. Come to Papa. Oh, he sent more. Haven't done a single slick of damage to the Chaos Dragon yet. Oh, this is uh, concerning, to say the least, because by now, I should have made a lot of damage. Oh! I, no, he didn't. I was going to say, I think he took a little bit of damage, but no, he hasn't. So let's just continue that. And I'm about to time lapse this again because I really don't know. And I feel like it's just a, a waiting game. Okay, so. Hey guys, we're back. Look at his bar. His bar is now red and we can now damage him. Well, not when he's doing the blue attack. So for whatever reason, it seemed to just be a waiting game. A question of time. Wait for him to do a stupid... Like, And if that's the case, which I believe it is, it's a stupid fight. Like just having to wait 10 minutes, doing nothing, going around just waiting because you can't damage him. Like right now, even the fact that I still can't damage is like... Ooh, it's not hard on the, the... It's really hard on the brain. Because, like, what am I doing? Like, I have the best draconic weapon that I can for this stage. And I can't even damage him. Finally. And he's blue again. So guess what? I can no longer damage him. Good thing I'm invincible because this would be super annoying. And when he's going to become red again, I don't want to be too far from him because I want to be able to damage him right, right now. Where are my arrows going for F sake? I don't know if you were seeing what I was seeing, but my arrows were going like... Finally hitting him. They were getting so... Ah, oh, and he's invincible again. I wish he did the laser attack because at some point he does a... Like this. He's doing a laser attack, but look at the damage I'm giving him. I'm giving him a trouncing now. Can I do this instead? So now he's half dead. And we finally might have a chance. So I should remember that. Note to self for next video and put it in the comment, in my comment of the video, is that there is a timer to this fight and until his bar becomes red, there's no point. You just have to wait and be calm and patient because, and now he's doing these again, so.
If I wasn't talking, it's because there was so much noise at this point. There was really no point in talking. Come on! Right now he's cheating. He's been blue for half an hour and me not able to hit him. Like this is just... Oh boy. Okay, he's back to orange so let's try and kill him this time because I don't want to have him do a special attack anymore. And he flies so fast. Almost dead. Please, please, please. Ah! Sorry for your ears, guys. But... Oh, oh finally. <sighs> okay, so... I believe that there's a chance for this island to explode, like, really, 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 really bad. So... What you should usually do once you've beaten him is go down here ASAP and mine this. I don't need to mind this. I just want to make sure that I have everything. And let's grab this. And let's go and say home. Voila. Oh, what an adventure. Five. Oh. Okay. Just so you know and understand how I feel right now. I think five is not enough for everything that we have to do, which means we're probably going to have to find another one and kill another one, but that is going to be 100% a time lapse thing because one, let's be honest, I don't really want to kill another one. And two, I'm not doing this uh, with, well, with talking and everything because there is really no point. So right now I'm just cleaning up a little bit because I want to, like, this is everything with a roast. We got so much crap from this fight. So much crap from destroying, from getting some uh, blocks, from killing some wither uh, thingies. Well, that's a good fit. Perfect. So let's get rid of all of that. And we'll be able to just do a little bit of crafting. I'm not going to do a, a lot. But let's do a little bit of crafting. So if we come back to Draconic Evolution. Next step is to make the Chaotic Fusion Injectors. And to do that, we need four. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Okay, first off, let's not panic. Chaos. A Chaos Shard gives me nine large. So one, two, three, four. So that's two. One, two, three, four. I don't know if I need a large one. Is the large one ever? Oh, you can recraft them. Okay. So let's just do this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Four. Oh, phew. Okay. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, no. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So we're not going to have enough for sure. But we can at least go downstairs and do these. Uh, tra oh, nope, that's not what I wanted to do. And transform these. So if I grab this two, and I'm going to turn this off now. If I grab these two and I press, oh, I need to reset my sound. One second, music and sound, and back to 25%. Okay, so. Chaotic Fusion Crafting Injectors, we need four, so we need 40 basically, we need 40 diamond and we need 10 dragon egg, so diamonds, let's split that, let's split that, let's split that, that's 40, so we need this in. And one, two, three, four, five. 
Oh, my clicking is all over the place. One, two, three, four, perfect. So we'll go fragment, 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 and we'll do the same with the diamonds. Diamond, diamond. Wait, how many do I need? One, oh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ooh, okay, so I can only do one at a time. That Well, that's okay, but it's just annoying. So egg. So I'm going to need 10 of those eggs. Great, so I'll put that back right there. I'll do this, I'll put that right there, and craft. And once I'm done with the crafting of this one, I'll get all, I'll get my items from one, I'll, I'll do them one at a time. Wow, already ready, so let's grab that. Give me back my eggs. Put that one there. Put the eggs back, do this. And we're just going to rinse and repeat. And then I just want to see. Yeah, those are. Oh, my God. These are all going to take two shards. <gasps> oh, my God. No. This is. Oh, this is so dumb. Well. I'm going to have to count. So. If I have to kill more than two Chaos Dragon, I'm going to cry. Let me check something. Okay, cheat code infinite. <gasps> How do we make this? We make this with... Okay, unobtainium block. I don't know how to get yet because they're unobtainium. Creative, easy, easy, easy. All of this stuff is easy. We haven't done the creative jetpack. What's the energy cell power? The energy cell power requires a creative capacitor. We need two creative capacitor. And creative capacitor are made with creative essence and a chaotic stuff. Oh, God. But these are small chaos fragment. Okay, so, wait, 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 change of plan. So I need to make two of these. And to make two of these, we're going to need two creative capacitor, which needs chaotic energy control. You know what? Let me press A on that. Yeah, perfect. So we're going to need chaotic core, which require one, two, three, four, five large chaos fragment. Okay? We're going to need four of those. So four is going to be five, 10, 15, 20. Oh God, please, please. Oh, I stopped myself just in time. I might have saved this because right now I was getting very discouraged. Okay, so let's continue looking that. If we go here, and we go back to this. So these are the chaos. So we, we're going to need four of these, which is where the 20 was coming from. Perfect. Then we're going to need one, two, three, four, six of these. Six, which are the small. So six is going to be four, eight. Well, four times six, 24. Oh my God, 24, which is, should be doable. So let's just do this. Oh, no, like this. So 24, perfect. And we, so I need to keep 20 for the first thing. So that's 20 and we've got the 24 here. Okay, so that's doable. Then we need, we're going to need two chaotic capacitor. Oh, which is two more of these. So I need 10 more, which is the 10 more that I have right here. 
oh my god if i had not spent on doing any of these oh but give me a second oh i need tier chaotic anyway to do it so yeah no i'm i'm literally completely screwed R whatever i do i'm going to need to fight another chaos dragon i don't know how many but at least another one because i'm going to need so if i go back here i want to cry now this is really crazy so i need tier chaotic for that one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so i need all of these tens transformed and i need four like this which is 20 plus five six that's 30 okay these take one two three and what is this so that's e okay so that's not nothing special okay so let's just go back so that's going to be one two three oh sorry this one requires three and so it's three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve so i'm gonna need 12 of these little things so 12 24 i'm gonna need 48 tiny 48 tiny is going to be yeah more than i have here 48 tiny and then if i go back to this 48 tiny how many do i need for this chaotic stuff of power i'm going to need one two three four five six small six small times two because we're going to have to do this twice yes perfect so six small and if i come in here these require a chaotic core and a chaotic energy controller okay so i'm going to need to defeat at least one more chaos dragon to be able to craft the infinite chest so regardless of what's going on i i need to kill more chaos dragons so what i'm going to do is i'm gonna have to drop the chaos uh sorry i'm gonna have to drop the draconic evolution stuff well drop probably going to be doing the energy core like the reactor and uh, sorry or, uh, an energy core and make a draconic reactor although i need chaotic and another chaos shard oh my god you stupid chaos shard so i know what the gimmick of this mod pack is it's antimatter and the, the shards uh, if I come back to mechanism, I still need to resolve that. Okay, so we're going to take it a bit relaxed next episode. And next episode, basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a little bit of quest cleanup with you guys. And as part of the quest cleanup, I'm also going to... Let's just go check our fusion setup. Okay, so I'm going, right now I'm only making plutonium, but I also need to make polonium. So what I'm probably going to do is start making polonium in the next episode. And uh, basically we're just going to chill a little bit doing other stuff for a while. So we're going to just try and complete. So I've done the research for the Age of Enchantment. So we're going to do the Age of Enchantment because I want to put infinite arrow and multi bow on my, uh, my bow. And then... What, what I might end up doing, like this one, I'm done with this episode. I need to put it out. I don't want to do it anymore. But so next episode, I'm going to do a little bit of questing. And then I'm going to go kill a Chaos Dragon in the time lapse. And then next episode, a little bit of questing and go kill another Chaos Dragon. And if you're wondering how you find another Chaos Dragon, you go 10k in another direction. So I went 10k to the 9,000 plus, then I'm going to go to the minus 9,000, then I'm going to go to the 9,000 Y, and then the plus, the minus 9,000 Y. But as part of my research, we're going to have to continue making the, like the, like this. We only have the creative jetpack left to do, the energy cell creative and the creative capacitor. The energy cell capacitor needs a creative capacitor, so we can't do that one. Okay, phew. I thought this was going to request two energy cell creative and two creative capacitor. Okay, so we're going to work toward that. And if there had been a way to get the chest faster, 
well, at least we could have duplicated the uh, the shards. There's no shard seed. There's no other way that I know of copying or making shard. So we're basically going to have to work on quest down the, the way. And we're going to need some unobtainium anyway. So if I look at the vibranium dust, uh, see, oh God, compress. Okay, so that's just EMC. I don't really mind. So we're going to be able to make a little bit of vibranium, a little bit of an um, un, no, sorry, we don't need vibranium. We need unobtainium. And obtain, unobtainium is made from creative essence. Is someone hitting me? Bye. Nothing is hitting me. It, it was a joke. There's nothing in here. Don't look. Okay. So what I'm trying to say is I'm really going to go map this out. I'm going to go count exactly how many chaos shard we need and how much of these unobtainium block that we need. Because if I come back one last time right here and I go to creative item and this, we're going to need nine 18 36 block so 36 times nine and the 36 times nines is going to be obtained with so much creative essence two three four five six do i have creative essence creative can i say give me 64 i don't know if it's realist but i've started the process because now i can do this and I just want to go make one yeah right here oh 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 why did I take those off did I ever finish this just give me a second if I go to energy production no, I never made the eight energizing rod. So this is a good excuse. Next episode, we're going to make the eight energizing rod and we're going to make our first, um, our first unobtainium just so that we get ready. And right now, what we're going to work toward is we're just going to be working toward getting everything that we need to make the creative chest. So I want to make the creative chest because if there's anything that is not EMCable, in the coming future, I'll just be able, so just this, like think about this. Once I have the creative chest, this is infinite. This is infinite. All of this is infinite. So this is also probably a very complicated one. This is complex compressed block of gold, which is probably why this one is the ch quote unquote least expensive one. It's because you need it to make the creative chest. And to make all of these tools and these things, we're just going to use the creative chest. So our current goal is to work out, work toward the creative chest so that we can complete this pack. Like I said, next episode, uh, cleanup, quest cleanup, followed by a chaos dragon. The next episode, I, I feel like we might be able to finish this in four episodes or three, but I'm being very, um, I'm very optimistic right now. Guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye now.